Ma'am, you also mentioned about uh, the test right now, getting regular checkups done. So, could you please explain us the blood glucose test? So, for diagnosis, it is recommended to do a lab glucose because glucometers are not very accurate hmm. for diagnosis. They are used for monitoring. So, laboratory glucose, fasting plasma glucose along with a test for glycosylated hemoglobin or HbA1c. Uh, any one of these two tests abnormal can be labeled as diabetes. Sometimes we do fasting and two hours after glucose also which is a little more cumbersome. So nowadays we okay. usually stick to fasting plasma glucose and HbA1c. Uh, we define fasting plasma glucose less than 100 as normal. Okay. Uh, if you are checking two hours after glucose or two hours after eating, we define less than 140 as normal. Okay. Uh, for defining the person as having diabetes, we take a cutoff of 125. More than 125 fasting is okay. called diabetes. More than or equal to 200 post meal is called diabetes. Okay. Uh, HbA1c normally is less than 5.7. More than or equal to 6.5% is called diabetes. So this is the definition and diagnosis of diabetes. And ma'am, are there any other parameters that one should be looking while checking the report? If glucose level is high and if someone has diabetes, then we of course go ahead and look for other um, tests which will help us identify what is the risk of complications in future. So we have to understand that diabetes is a condition which we are trying to diagnose with so much mm. of effort even when we have no problem is because we understand that when we diagnose someone as diabetes it is it is an opportunity to prevent complications in future uh, i think sometimes people do not care about checking for glucose or taking good control of it because they're too scared of the disease and when we talk about the bad effects of it it feels overwhelming uh, instead, I think we should uh, say that this is an opportunity, there is hope there. Having diagnosed diabetes is actually giving us hope in the future that we can avoid heart disease risk. So ultimately we are trying to diagnose diabetes because we can prevent complications. It's a hopeful condition, it's not that dreadful condition, it's, 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 it's because we have hope now. We now know that this track is not okay and we can change the route and land up in a better place after say 50 years or 60 years depending on what's your age so uh, if you know that you have diabetes then we have to also look at other risk factors for heart disease like cholesterol okay. blood pressure we also screen for complications of diabetes from very early on we look for albumin and urine we look for creatinine to see if kidneys are okay or not or can we do something there so the reason for doing tests is not to scare anyone it is because uh, there are measures with which we can improve your health, prolong your life and that is quite proven now. There is enough data to say that uh, we can prevent all these dreadful complications of diabetes and reduce the prevalence of uh, patients landing with kidney disease, dialysis, transplant, uh, blindness, foot problems, amputations. Okay. These all can be very well prevented. So I think that's the uh, reason for doing all the tests and there is a set of tests to do that and help with that.